guys, welcome back. It's Melody and today we're going to be talking about my absolute favorite products as a minimalist. These are the items that I absolutely love and I've been using for a very long time. I don't just put items that I just got. That's why you guys haven't seen my Instant Pot review yet and you guys also haven't seen the acrylic pot that I've been keeping my plants in. It's a self-watering pot. I want to make sure it's a really good product before I ever recommend it. So these are the items that I really stand by that these are the best that you can find in my opinion in these categories. And if you're new here, we don't just talk about innovative products. We also talk about minimalist philosophies and especially organization tips. So if you love organization, definitely give us a subscribe. We're in at the middle of an organization series right now and you don't want to miss a beat. But today we're going to get right into the products and start it off with a bang. So today we're going to be talking about the Household Essentials Hamper. And this Household Essentials Hamper is the best that you can get. And thankfully price does not always indicate quality because this hamper is only $12. So the best thing that I like about it is how versatile it is and how minimalist the aesthetic is. So this has a hanger on it so that you can hang it with your clothes on your rack, on your clothes rack. Or you can get a $1 hook, which I'll also link in the down bar, and you can put it on that hook and put all of the hampers next to each other for your children or in a laundry room if you have one. I don't have a laundry room, but if you have one, and you can use this for so many things. But my favorite part is that it's floating. So if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I hide everything and then I float the rest. And this is easy to do because I don't own a lot of things. And so when you live like that, where everything is off the ground, wiping the counters, wiping the floors is instantaneous. Cleaning is quick and easy. So definitely give it a try. This is the perfect place to start. I keep it hidden behind my clothes on a hook. So you'll probably want one for your clothes and also one for your towels as well. So two is perfect. And then the very next item that I absolutely love is this Josie Moran Light Argan Oil. I've probably been using it in every single video on my hair. And I absolutely love it because unlike other argan oils, it is very lightweight. And so it does not weigh down your hair or make it look greasy. But it still is very great for your hair to the point that I can use it as a conditioner. So I use this and also once a week I'll do apple cider vinegar rinse. And then that keeps my hair really healthy and soft and luscious. I get it in the 1.7 fluid ounce. I also use it on my face on occasion. And especially use it on my face and body when I travel. So I can pack a lot less things. So I cannot recommend this highly enough. It's a little pricey, but that's the only negative that you can say about it. Metafoam seed oil is also amazing, but I like to keep my oils light. And then the very next item that I have been loving, and you guys know I've been loving because you guys see it in all of my videos, <laughs> is this EnviroSax reusable bag. EnviroSax is the best that money can buy. It is well made. So when I'm looking for something to review, I will organize the reviews according to highest first. Then I'll comb through those reviews and see how much of it is legitimate reviews. Then after that, I'll try multiple ones. So this is not the only reusable bag that I tried. When they don't work out, I'll give them away or I'll return them. But I tried the really popular reusable bag, the one that stuffs into a little sock, a little ball and it just can't compare to the EnviroSax bag for the simple fact that that one is so small in comparison. It can kind of look feminine on men. I know most men don't care, but if you don't want to look like you're carrying a purse, it does look like you're carrying a purse. It also doesn't have two straps, so it is heavier on you because one strap is cutting into you and these straps are so much wider so you can wear this for so long without it hurting your back or your shoulders and this one is just more well made it doesn't wrinkle it's just the best that money can buy and it looks incredible it just looks amazing so I don't just use this when I go shopping for groceries. I also use it when I go camping. All your clothes, all your toiletries, throw it in there and head out. But I also use it when I travel long distances. I use it as a hamper because it holds so much. 
because it holds so much, it will hold all the, your clothes that you take for a seven day trip easily. So then you can use this as a hamper as all your clothes start to get dirty. And the very next item that I love are these curtain rings. You cannot possibly find a better item of all time. It might just be that I put up with really bad curtain rings for three to five years and that's just it though. When you end up with a bad product, most of us, we just don't care enough to go and read reviews and look for a new item. So we're just going to put up with a terrible item and some of them are more inconvenient than others. And this curtain ring was the absolute worst curtain rings of all time. And it was twice the price of this one. These curtain rings are from Target. They're rusting. And every time that I would shower, it would fall off. I also tried the metal ones with the balls on them. The really popular one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Although those are a lot better than these. <laughs> It's very hard to get the curtain back on. So if you struggle, if you have arthritis or things like that, your hands have a lot of wear and tear like mine because I am always editing, I'm always doing court reporting, then you want something like this that you don't even have to unhook. You just slide the curtain onto the ring. So it's so easy to change the curtain out and it looks amazing. And because it's not metal, it's not gonna rust and it's not gonna rattle against your curtain rod. It's only $5, so you almost have nothing to lose. And then the very next item that I love is this Japanese nail clipper. And I tried two of them, but this one is the best one. And I take my nail clippers seriously because I am in court reporting. So it really has to be up to the task because I cut my nails so frequently. This saves me a lot of money because I never get tempted to do fancy things with my nails, but I need something that is gonna stay sharp for a long time. And this has stayed sharp for over five years, so I can't recommend it highly enough. There are two versions. There's the toenail version and the fingernail version. I only own the fingernail one, but I'll link them both in the down bar for you. And my next item is this cat bowl for Pat. Pat really likes this bowl because it's raised and so she doesn't have to be eating straight on the floor. So it's how she would eat regularly. So she can kind of stand up almost while she's eating out of this bowl. I bought the water bowl version because it holds more and therefore if I'm going out of town, I can put a little extra if I'm going for two days. And so this is an amazing bowl. I'm really happy to say, but everything I own finally fits in the dishwasher. And that's very important because Pat loves eating. In fact, I told her she should watch her figure and lo and behold, everybody thought she was a boy cat because her wispy figure has dwindled away over the years. <laughs> but she is in love with food. So the point is that when she's done eating, she's always licking the bottom of the bowl. So it gets grimy really fast. So I have to pop this in the dishwasher once a week. So having something that's dishwasher safe is a major plus. Plus it looks very cute. This will be Pat's cat bowl for all time. So I hope that this video gave you some ideas of gifts that you could give. I've given the curtain rings so many times as an add-on gift. If you like this video, give this video a share and definitely don't forget to subscribe so that we can see you next Sunday in the next organization video.